Welcome to Dr. Sonar Training. This session is on fish ID. Throughout my fishing career, I have found fish on sonar that don't bite. This is really frustrating. I now use my AquaView camera to help make good decisions on how long to stay or if I want to stay. I found these fish from my Lawrence. I had no bites. So I dropped my AquaView and found these fish. There's some that are off the bottom a little bit, but most are right on tight to the bottom. My hummingbird down imaging, which down imaging is the best for target separation and fish close to the bottom, and my 2D sonar only shows the suspended fish, the ones that are off the bottom, just a little bit. Notice there's a lot of fish down there. So those fish that are tight to the bottom are not showing. It's just a matter of uh, physics. Ice fishermen know this. Okay, they, they're fishing over a hole with no movement of the bottom, no movement of the boat. Transducer doesn't move. When they drop their lure, when it disappears on the sonar, it's four to six inches off the bottom. And that's in ideal conditions. So I was ready to move since I don't target suckers. And I found a suspended fish again. Now, so I dropped the camera again. My surprise, there were walleyes. Well, of course, I'm going to stay. And I didn't catch any. But I did get this big northern. It was too long to measure on my ruler. I was wondering if he ate one of those suckers. Look at his belly. I took this screenshot just before he bit. So this fish may have been the northern. You never know for sure unless you see or lure and the fish at the same time, and bingo, you get the bite and you set the hook and catch the fish. I was not in ideal conditions for using the camera in 29 feet on a clear lake, but it was fall and it was cloudy. You don't get as much sunlight penetration in those conditions, but it works good enough to do fish ID. So go fishing. The clock is ticking.